Stress hormones, by definition, shut down the immune system to conserve energy that can be used to run away from the threat. And I go, it's so powerful at shutting down the immune system that stress hormones are used, listen, therapeutically. I go, what do you mean? If I am going to transplant an organ from one person to another, the recipient of that transplant their immune system, by definition, is going to try and reject the transplant because it's foreign tissue. I say, so what do doctors do before they transplant an organ? They give the patient stress hormones because when they get the stress hormones, it inhibits the immune function from rejecting the graft. So what's the point? My God, stress hormones are so effective at shutting down the immune system that they use it therapeutically to stop the function of that immune system. So I go, so why is it relevant? I go, because we're, we're put into fear. Uh, and everybody who listens is now afraid. The, the difference between, let, let's say last year's flu season, I'm coming on the news and I go, the flu season's back this year. And as usual, you know, you have to take care of yourself. And about 0.1% of the population uh, will have uh, severe problems with this, but that's annual. That's the way it is. Or I come on this year. And I say, my God, the flu is here. We're all going to die. <laughs> Millions of people are going to die. And all of a sudden, it's like, that's a different news report than last year. That scares the hell out of me. So stress is opening up our system from attack, from anything, from electromagnetic fields to viruses. Uh, and we have to understand that stress is the bigger problem in the immune system. Well, the first straightforward advice is this. We have to maintain our physiology and our health. And so basically I say, well, how do you do that? And I go, you know, it's not that difficult. The number one thing is this. First of all, eat food that is good for you. Not industrial farm, but organic, natural, healthy food. Uh, industrial farm food is loaded with chemicals that influence our system in a very negative way. Taking care of your nutrition, number one, is important because we nourish ourselves. And if you shorten the supply of nourishment, of course you're gonna be open to sickness. Uh, number two uh, is to take advantage of um, vitamins and supplements and things to support us because our food isn't that great. Anything we can do uh, outside to enhance our nerve, uh, immune system, uh, and let me just add, especially vitamin C, when we support ourselves that way, we strengthen the immune system. And then third thing, watch what you're thinking. Because the moment you are thinking of stressful things like, oh my God, uh, uh, I'm not working for weeks and I'm my job, my salary, do I have any money? Uh, fear comes from that. Can I pay the rent? Fear comes from that. Uh, am I gonna die? Of course, fear comes from that. And I go, these fears are the primary uh, things that inhibit the function of the immune system. You wanna stay well? Uh, Norman Cousins, who healed himself from a lethal disease, he locked himself in a hotel room and got all kinds of comedies, uh, Marx Brothers and things like that. And what did he do? He just sat there and, and enjoyed life and laughed and did all that. And he overcame a, an illness that should have killed him. This is an example of what is so important. If we do not focus on the problems that they keep throwing at us, and you start to look at your life and say, am I okay? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How's my family? We're good. We're healthy. Even if there's a, a flu, half the people tested with the flu don't, don't even have symptoms. <laughs> so it's not as lethal as they say. It's the fear of death is the problem that we must deal with today. Am I open to die? And I say, everybody's open to die. If you do really well and you, you know, persevere, and when you die, you're going to go to this place called heaven. And I go, consider this, that we were born into heaven, that we came here to create. That's what we're doing. We're creating. And I say, when we're creating it right, heaven on earth is here. When we're creating it wrong, struggle is here. And all of a sudden I say, oh my God, don't wait till you die that you're going to go to heaven. You are, this is it. This is where you came to create. What do you want to create? Love? Coronavirus? You can create any damn thing you want. This is creation place. But if you don't know that your creations are being controlled, then we become a victim of a world out of control. And yet we were the creators. We gave in to other people's beliefs. 
And then we now are creating, not with our wishes and desires, we're creating with the program. And I say, and just look at the moment that we started with this whole conversation. I say, where's the program taking us right now? And the answer is fear, shutdown, loss of community, breakdown of the system. I go, we can learn or not. That's it. And this is a learning moment. Take your power back. You are beyond uh, power-wise, beyond any virus that ever existed. You are very powerful.